Welcome to Cloud Enablement videos. Uh, my name is Saurabh Agarwal from the Informatica Cloud Product Management team and today's presentation is about API Manager. So uh, as you would know, API Manager is a new service on uh, Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Uh, so it's hosted on the same platform like any other service, uh, be Cloud Application Integration or the Cloud Data Integration. Uh, so today we will uh, see uh, how the API Manager uh, is a source of all the API invocation and how we can apply policies and analytics to it. So let's jump in. Uh, I'll start by logging into my cloud account. So we do have an app switcher. Uh, it shows all the services available on the cloud platform and, and I'm interested about the API manager service. So let's go there. So this is the API Manager console. Uh, here we see all the services on the Explorer perspective. We, sh we do see distinction based upon available services and managed services. Let me first explain what we uh, mean by uh, available services. So anytime when you publish an API on the cloud platform uh, and uh, you happen to have the API Manager running in the same uh, environment, uh, API Manager by default get to know about this new API and uh, it makes it available in the context of API Manager. For example, if you see here, uh, the status uh, being active indicates that it's a managed uh, API. Uh, and if you look at these uh, services, which have been exposed uh, uh, to the API manager, they are not really managed API. They uh, can be created into managed API by saying create managed API. You actually uh, make this API as an active API. And you see a whole different menu uh, for this API, which is about deactivating the API which means it goes back to available services. Uh, you can see the API details, which gives you general properties of the API, including the name, the type uh, of communication, uh, the version, uh, the authentication, uh, status indicates uh, is it a managed versus available API. And then you also see managed API URL, which you can use to invoke. Uh, you also see a description, which can uh, let you identify what the service does. On top of it, you can also apply uh, things like rate limit. Uh, so if you enable uh, API specific rate limit policy, you can govern the API by uh, putting restrictions on the API invocation. So for example, if you say, I will only allow one invocation of an API in thousand milliseconds, which is one second, you can do that. And then um, if, uh, if somebody invokes the API more than once in a single second, they should be seeing an error. You can also, uh, filter out your APIs based upon available services versus the managed services and this will help you manage your task better. So we saw that how we can apply policies on uh, the API at the API level but you can also set the org wide policies uh, the same rate limit policy that we saw uh, per API can be applied to uh, the overall set of APIs within that uh, within the API manager. Uh, on top of that you can still apply things like IP filtering policy, you can either allow, which means whitelist, or you can deny, which means blacklist, a uh, list of uh, IP addresses. Uh, you can define uh, this whitelisting or blacklisting, the description, and uh, you should see those uh, IP filtering rules here, which you can change to deny all. So you can uh, make a whitelist into a blacklist or white blacklist into a whitelist. API Manager also offers an analytics interface wherein you can see uh, the API usage trend via a graph. Uh, you can see how many invocations happen uh, on which date. So that gives you an idea on how, uh, how the APIs are being invoked. And you can also see the top APIs, uh, the invocations, how many types they have been invoked, the API URL, the type, as well as the top users who invoke this API. You can also look at the activity uh, on the API Manager, uh, the APIs that have been invoked that are uh, available within the context of API Manager. You get to see uh, all the important details about an API, for example, the API name, the time it was invoked, the, the URL that we invoked, the type of the API, the method, the response, the username, consumer IP, and the duration it took. Uh, in case uh, the API have come across security uh, issues, uh, for example, uh, the uh, authorization uh, details were wrong. You get to see that in the security log as well. I hope you have better understanding on the API manager now. Thank you.